someone just recently uh, made a video on uh, how to use the plans to build one of flight test airplanes and I thought I'd just add on a little bit of what how I do mine now I uh, have a larger screen than this this screen here that I'm using here is a 24 inch screen I have a 32 inch screen that I actually use most of the time I'm just doing this for the video purpose okay when you go to the bottom here your Adobe reader toolbar uh, comes up you press on that and you get your toolbar and it gives you a percentage up here at the top now different uh, computers come up with different sizes in this case this is a 40 percent well let's raise that up I played around a little bit and I you put different numbers in there until I came up with a number enter that allowed me to blow up the plans to where the six inches was six inches up here at the legend you measure that out with the ruler and when that meets six inches that means that all your sizes will be pretty close you're going to have a little bit of distortion because of the the way the monitor set up but now there's a tail fin on the bloody wonder now I could trace it all out there but I don't bother to trace it out what I do is I put it up here okay I've already put some marks on here so I'm going to line those up but if you can see I take and I just put marks at the corner all right at the different points of the angles then all I have to do is just connect the dots basically but you don't even have to do that actually you can just lay this down on a uh, and you got your little mark here you take a pin you just lay it down on your uh, foam board you take a pin, punch holes through here. You don't have to trace or anything. Just take a pin and punch holes into your foam board. Then you connect the holes, so you don't have to such a such a battle to uh, cut this all out and everything. Um, that's part of it. Now, of course, you got other areas that are really bigger to work with, like uh, this thing here now. What I did here is I measured down here and I found out that that's actually just about just about six inches. That's another thing is you don't have to be exact on all this stuff. You can be pretty close as long as you don't have mating surfaces like uh, the little square holes that are cut out. And by the way, I don't use those square holes. I actually put pegs in the edge and uh, to uh, made out of bamboo sticks or even toothpicks just to hold it in place while the hot glue sets. But you can take that and do the same thing. You can set this out here and you can make your marks. Okay, you measure down here from this mark here down straight down to three inches. And in this case, you could uh, just take in a square, run it out, and that's half of it. So you, you mark it out and you turn it over and you uh, uh, got the other half of the tail feathers. And basically, using a little ingenuity, you can uh, go ahead and um, with a couple sheets of paper, make your uh, plans out on a, your and actually lay them out on your uh, foam board fairly easily um, got to keep your line straight and and make sure that everything's square but it's not that hard especially if it's your first build it's going to be a little harder but if you've built two or three of the um, flight test airplanes uh, you know some of the curves and stuff like this you everything is pretty much the same uh, the width of the fuselage, you know, it's got to be around two inches at least to uh, end up getting your battery into the uh, uh, into the fuselage, stuff like that. But if you just use a little forethought and common sense, that uh, you'll be able to do this without a, bit, a whole lot of problems. I think it's a easier way to do it than to print out all of it. And I actually did set all my plans out on the, all the pages out on the bed, and I taped them all together and I cut them out and used up a lot of paper and a lot of ink and uh, then I might not even you know build it after I did all that work I'd, I'd look at it and say oh I'm gonna do something else and 
it's kind of a waste of time. So this this works pretty good. Uh, basically, the big thing you got to remember is that uh, you do have to get that legend to the right size. And if you have a bigger screen to work with than I have here, it makes it even easier. If you have bigger sheets of paper, you can go ahead and tape a couple pieces of paper together to, to make your uh, plans out. But the big thing is, is to measure it out, get your six inches on your legend, and from that point all these should be the right, actual size. Okay, that's just part of it. Let's go over here a second. Wanted to show you this. Okay, what I have here is a wing board. This could be any sheet of um, a shelf or something. Uh, you can buy shelf, just three foot shelves at Home Depot or one of the stores out of uh, particle board. I see it's MDF. And you drill pegs or drill holes in the side. Then you take, you take rubber bands and you can tie your model down to that. Now the reason being is that when you put your tail feathers in, everything's got to be squared to the fuselage. That's not the easiest thing to do. It wasn't for me. And you can see that I have vertical lines all the way down this board. Now this was actually a wing board. It's what we used to build wings on when you built uh, 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 wings out of wood. And then you had hinges out here that you could hinge the two halves together so that you could put dihedral in it. In other words, you had a little uh, upslope to each side of the wing. Now, the vertical, well, you can see that basically you can take the vertical and eyeball it. And that's probably one of the easiest ways. If you can get your um, horizontal square, then you can take and go from your horizontal and I've got already put the uh, things there but you can put a square across your horizontal and get your vertical square your vertical stabilizer square okay now I've always had trouble when it came time to put the horizontal stab in to get it square to the fuselage but doing it this way I can use the flat side of the fuselage put it along a line and then just go down here and line it up uh, with a line that are 90 degrees to the, to the uh, fuselage. And that works out pretty good for me. I thought I'd just pass this along. I thought maybe some other people might be having the same problems. Plus being able to tie your um, plane down to a surface. Um, and you could just use uh, any kind of a, doesn't have to be wood or like this. You could take and put uh, uh, just a board, drill holes in the side put for the pegs, and then take in uh, maybe just put a rubber uh, shelving uh, paper down, that rubber uh, uh, shelving protector, so to keep things from moving around. Now, one of the benefits here, and there's my pin that I was using to, to uh, uh, punch through the uh, plans I just showed you, is that you can also pin things down because this is Celotex. This is actually a piece of ceiling tile that's glued to a uh, three foot long board. All right, I thought I'd just pass this hint along, make it easier. Now this is pretty much because I make a lot of airplanes and I'm trying to make it easier for myself and get back a little bit. This airplane I've been building here is coming along very, very slowly. But uh, uh, really, you know, there's very few people who've ever built anyone like quite like this. So uh, just quietly working it out. Thank you for watching. And please rate. I, you know, I appreciate it to know that people actually are watching. Thank you.